Hello and welcome back to Forest Farm here in Stardew Valley. We're on episode 12 and we're in the spring of year 2. And as you've caught me, I've just walked in to a cutscene with Sebastian and Sam. Sam and I were about to play Slurian Chronicles, the game. Why don't you join us? It's better with three players anyway. Okay, here we go. Let me draw the scenario card. Hmm, it sort of likes today's quest will take us into the Necromancer's Tower to try and reclaim the Salarian staff from the clutches of Dreadlord Zarth. Cool, Hazel. Are you ready to choose your character? Choose which you'd like. Um, I think I chose Wizard last time. Um, I'm not very good at being a warrior, but we'll go for it. Uh, good choice. Warrior's probably the easiest for beginners. Oh, that's handy. I will guess I'll pick the wizard then. I guess I'm stuck with the healer. Let's begin. The king has entrusted you and your companions with recovering the Salarian staff. A task which, if completed successfully, will ensure your place in the Hall of Legends as well as a sizable fortune of gold and silver. After a long month journey across unforgiving lands, you step out onto a precipice to see your destination looming in the distance. There beyond a, a moonlit plain lies the Necromancer's Tower, where Dreadlord Zarth usurps the power of the stolen Salarian staff for his vile purposes. The tower lies before you. Go in front, fortune favours the bold. Search for a back entrance. Let's remain hidden. Uh, let's favour the bold. <coughs> a skeleton guards the hallway before you. It looks dangerous. What do you do? Fight the skeleton. I will fight the skeleton. Swing your weapons. Raise your shield. I will swing my weapon. The skeleton is too quick and strikes out your party before anyone has a chance to attack. The force of the blow sends your party flying backwards, and able to stop in time, you tumble down a steep slope and splash into something wet. You find yourself in a sewer-like corridor. To your left, a hallway glows with a peculiar green light. To your right, a staircase leads up into the dark. I always go right, so this time I'm going to go left. Oh, right, what's this? You're in a room. <coughs> On your left is a ladder. On your right, three prisoners are floating in strange glowing capsules. They appear to be in the process of some kind of transformation. Could this be some of sick, some sick experiment of the Dreadlords? It looks like it. <coughs> what do you do? <coughs> Leave as quickly as possible. Destroy the capsules. Let's do that. After putting these poor souls to rest, you and your companions climb the ladder. You've come to a door at the end of a hallway. The time has come to face Dreadlord Zarth. Here he is. Intruders, how dare you trespass in my private chambers? Ah, so you've come for the Salarian staff. Hee hee, fools, you'll make a nice addition to my skeleton army. Dreadlord Zarth is muttering an incantation. What do you do? Charge your head, swing in your sword, use your shield to defend your friends. No, we'll just... never mind the friends. You charge forward, but the Zarth slips past you and sends a shadow beam at your <coughs> companions. Sebastian and Sam are fried to a crisp. You swing your sword again and land a solid blow. Zarth shrieks and crumbles into dust. You pick up the Salarian staff and hold it high. Peace and order have been restored to the world. You finished with a C rating. I think I've done that. That's the best I've done before. I don't think I've got a C before. Hey, not bad. It took me like three or four tries to beat my first scenario. 
thanks for stopping by. I'll see you later. Right, after all that excitement, I've come down to the quarry and there's a few goodies here for me. Some iron and uh, copper. What's that? That's an emerald. More iron. I think this is a diamond. No, an aquamarine. So we'll uh, just hang about and get this tidied up while I'm here. Right, it's the following day and I've come up to Robin's because I've decided it's time I got a barn and she's not here. Right, uh, I've got one piece of wallpaper there, maybe I can give it to Demetrius. And that's made us ten hearts. Excellent, I can now ignore you completely. I think um, I better go down to Pierre's. I need some more seeds. I'll be very happy when my uh, harvest comes through and I actually start earning some money. Unlike me, I've spent quite a lot of money this month. Oh, there's another one. I'm saving daffodils because sooner or later I'm going to have to start being nice to Haley and speak of the devil. I don't think we've got any hearts, so we've got one. Right? And of course, as you might know, Haley's the only one who doesn't like wallpaper. But she does like daffodils. It's not her favourite thing. I'm not wasting my best things like diamonds on Haley. Uh, so that's a start. It was quite painful being nice to her, but there you are. I've got to do it. Right, uh, I've come out of Pierre's and another cutscene. This time it's Mayor Lewis catching Sam. Uh, skateboarding on people's plants. Say, so what do you think you're doing? That's private property. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. The youth these days, sometimes I wonder if the town isn't doomed. You saw what happened, Hazel. What do you have to say about this? What is do with me? You're right, sir. Sam should respect private property. Don't blame Sam. There's nowhere else for him to ride. I'm staying out of this. Well, I'd love to stay out of it, but of course, I've got to say that. Fine. I just won't ride my skateboard ever again. Happy? You're being difficult, Sam. I have no problem with you riding around town. Just try not to cause any damage. It's that simple. Got it? Yes, sir. Did you see that trick, though? That was rad. <laughs> right. Now, I've totally forgot what I was going to do. Um... I think I was going to go home and plant plants. I have no gifts on me, so that's what I'll do. Right, I've come down to see Vincent, found him, and it's his birthday. What are we on now? Seven out of ten. That's okay. I suppose I can give out some more gifts while I'm here, if I've got them on me. Uh -huh. Mum used to give me this when I was a young boy. It brings back wonderful memories. That explains a lot, Kent. Your mum used to give you wallpaper when you were a young boy. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Right, I'm back at uh, Robin's and hopefully I can buy a barn. I should have brought enough stuff with me. And I would like to have it up here somewhere. I don't want to block off that. I'd like to get round the back of it. Um, so it's there or there. Shall I leave a bit more space around the back? I will for if and when I get a horse. Over there maybe? Uh, no, there. Right, that's that done. Not a problem. I'll just catch Maru and try and give her some, uh, you know what. And... <coughs> I think I've got all the hearts with Demetrius. Yes, I have. Right. <clears throat> For the rest of the day, what's left of it, it's 5pm, I'm going to go to the river and do a bit of fishing. I'm just going to see if I could possibly get myself another legend fish. You never know. Oh, there's some sparkly things. They are worth 13,000 gold, so I'll give it a go. Well, the legend fish did turn up. He turned up three times, but I couldn't get him. However, the good news is my farming level has gone up and there's no decision to make here at all. I'm going... Oh, wait a minute, there is. Oh, my artisan goods, wine cheese is worth 40% more. All crops go grow 10% faster. Mmm... That's a, I've never ever gone for that one. I'm I'm still gonna go for that one. And I had a good day money wise yesterday. I sold some cauliflowers and did a bit of fishing. And I got 20,000 gold, which I'm pleased about because my finances were running down. Right, uh, I got up this morning and realised it's the egg festival <laughs> coming up tomorrow. Uh, it's come round awfully quick. Now, I was in here getting my supply of wallpaper and one of my lovely subscribers uh, by the name of Carol told me that uh, Hayley doesn't like green wallpaper, which I know, but she said um, that she likes a yellow one. Now, I'm not sure which yellow one, but I'm going to try this one. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And maybe you could tell me which yellow one it is. But it'd be awfully handy if we got the right one. Okay. Ah, oh, now I'm walking through the park and here's Hayley. She is ignoring me. Now I'm going to try it with this yellow wallpaper. It's gross. Well, that didn't work. Right. Uh, <laughs> wrong wallpaper. Right, well it's that time again. I'm down at the Egg Festival. Don't get your hopes up. I'd be awful tempted to start the other way round if I had the foggiest idea where to go. Um, I don't know. I might just for the fun of it. Oh, I'd better stick to... Right, let's go this way. Not a clue what I'm doing this time. Oh, bummy kids. Uh, there's a heap round here. Can't get in that way. Oh, there's that one down there. I know about that. That one. 
I'll... Something always holds me up. Well, <laughs> I hold me up, I think. I don't think I was a hope in getting anything here. You've just got to be so quick. And I'm not. I know there's one up here. Ah, come on. There's one down here. <whistles> no, I don't think I'm going to do it. It'll be Abigail again, pretty sure. Won the egg festival. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, here comes the prize. A straw hat. <laughs> oh, why do I bother? Right, it's Sunday today, and today is Haley's birthday. Now, I've been sorting out some yellow wallpaper here, but I don't know if any of them will work so I don't take the chance on her birthday and I'm going to give her a daffy instead uh, it's one of her likes not one of her loves but I do have some stuff ready you will notice I am wearing my hat I thought seeing as I'd got it I might as well wear it so I'll get these gathered in I think I'm going to have to get some more uh, crops to replace them because it's only the 14th. I don't know if I'm going to bother with cauliflowers again. Not sure. So I'll get on with this and get back to you maybe when I've found Hayley. Right, that's... Uh... Oh, right, she's there, but I can't get in. Uh... I mean, I really just don't want to stand and wait. I don't really care about giving her a birthday present anyway. So I'll go off and do something else, and uh, if she appears, she appears. Right, I went down to the beach instead, and I decided to call in and see Elliot. So we have another cutscene. Welcome to my humble uh, shack. This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a writer. How I told you that. That's why I live out here by myself. I figured a lonely life by the sea would help me focus on my literary aspirations. Everyone back home said I was nuts, that I could never make it as a writer. Can you believe it? They said for every successful author, there's a thousand who fail miserably. Such pessimism, it's sickening. I can see it in your eyes. You believe in me, Hazel. You've got that spark. Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. A question. What kind of books do you like, Hazel? Um, I think this time I'll go for mystery. Mystery, huh? it's definitely an exciting genre. I'll remember that. Well, enough talk about me. You probably know a lot about plants, don't you? A fair bit, Elliot. I know more about wallpaper, but never mind. Would you mind taking a look at this rose here? I'm afraid it's not doing so well. Right. Okay, Elliot, it's Sunday, so uh, I can give you another present. How are we doing? Six out of ten hearts. And as if by magic is Haley. So let's, my word, she's fairly moving. Stop, stop. My sister is so weird, sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. What hearts have we got? Oh, just the one. I don't think um, this is going to swing it, but... Oh, we got three! Oh, my word. Oh, well. You're welcome, Hayley. 
Right, travelling car next. And yet another cutscene. <coughs> I came down to the saloon to look for Marnie because I have some aramanth for her cows. And instead I've walked into this. I'm just looking over last month's earnings and it's not looking very good, Hazel. The worst thing, and I hate to say this because she's my friend, is Pam. She hasn't paid off her tab in weeks. But I can't ask her to do it. I know she'll get defensive and I don't want to hurt her feelings. Hazel, you got to help me. And speak of the devil. Hiya. At Gus, I'm awful thirsty. If you catch my drift. Well, okay, Pam. Hazel, what's going on here? Right. You need to pay your tab right now, or the saloon isn't doing well financially. I think we'll just be blunt, because Pam's a blunt kind of lady. Hey, watch your mouth. No one tells me what to do. Well, I guess I'd better pay off that tab then. Thanks, Pam. And thank you, Hazel. Now, let's get you that drink, Pam. <coughs> right. We can go straight on and grab Marnie. And uh, give her this. Oh, the aramanth I asked for. Thank you so much. My cows are going to love this. Now, I have a feeling it cost me more to buy the... Uh, no, I think I paid 400 gold for it, or 480. So I haven't made much of a profit on that. Uh, I'll just say hello to everybody because I don't have any wallpaper on me. And we'll just head home. Oh, look, I've just come home and I have a barn. Wow. Right, I could get a cow or I could upgrade it. What I really want to start doing is pigs. So I will get one cow, but uh, I want to fill it with pigs, really. <coughs> now I'm down at... Uh, back at the carpenters and I'm going to upgrade my barn to a big barn so let's go for it and I want to upgrade that one right now I've got a present for Evelyn George wants it Allure. it's a leak right I don't speak to you either and uh, I'll go and do that. Right I've come down to Evelyn's and we've got a little cutscene. I'm actually baking my famous cookies. Here why don't you try one? Well what do you think? Oh I've got to say it was delicious. Thank you. I think I've come to know you well enough to give you my recipe. Just make sure to keep it a secret. I will, Evelyn. I've learned how to make cookies. Now, Evelyn, I don't know who it is wants the leak, whether it's you. Oh, I could look here, could I? Granny's gift. Bring Evelyn a leak. That's right. So, there you go, Evelyn. And we're on 9 now to 10. So, jolly good. I don't suppose I'll find Haley to try out some wallpaper on her, but I could, I suppose. Right, I found Haley in the kitchen. We're on three hearts. <laughs> um, which wallpaper shall I try? I've got yellow, yellow, and yellow. I quite like the idea of palm trees. So, let's go for it. 
Is it this one? No. <laughs> well, it's narrowing them down. Right, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Please press like if you have. And, of course, as always, I would love it if you were to subscribe. So I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>